Hello Donuts, today we are going to be reacting to memes that only Gen Alpha will understand. If you don't know what Gen Alpha is, it's basically anyone that was born after 2010. Which is just horrible to say that people were actually born then. So yeah, we're gonna see how many of these memes we find funny or we even get. I feel like this is gonna make me feel so old. <laughs> No, are we old? I didn't find anything in that funny. Guys, I don't get it. This is the end. This is the start of the end. Is this how millennials looked at us when we were laughing at Uganda Knuckles? No, oh, are we the old ones? It's so funny trashing on millennials on TikTok. Now, Gen Alpha. Or could it be doing that to us? Oh, this actually feels awful. I hate this. I hate this with, with a passion. There's heads coming out of toilets and it makes no sense. Yes, my style is ridiculous. Okay, so there's urinals in a in an elevator. That's that's I get that. That's kind of funny. That can be funny, right? Like imagine if there was a urinal in an elevator and you saw that, you you would laugh. You'd be like, "What are people like killing two birds with one stone?" Like what's going on? Like what's going on here? There's an, there's a urinal in a f***ing elevator. I don't get the head. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't get the head coming out and singing the same song. I don't even know what he's singing. This is called Skibbity Toilet, by the way, and this is season one. So apparently there must be more seasons of this. I'm not. Not sure if they all like intertwine and there's some sort of story going on here. I'm so old. I tell you what though, I can't wait to see my little brother again. I'm just gonna whisper on his ear. Skippity toilet. It's gonna be like, what? How do you know? Who told you? Are children everywhere like creased at this? Are they just waiting for that new skibbity toilet video to drop? Are they like buckled when they're watching this? Are they on the floor? Did we used to watch this sort of stuff when we were like young teens? Did we? I feel like I just watched like Horrid Henry and Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. At least they had a storyline to them. <laughs> This is, this is, this is overwhelming and I actually feel terrible. Why is there a huge toilet followed by little toilets that are like a t henchman? What is going on here? Who is Skibbity Toilet like the character? Is it Skibbity in a toilet or I like, is he, I have no, is he coming out of the sewers? What is the law behind Skibbity Toilet? <laughs> He's kind of like, oh, I don't know their pronouns, they're kind of iconic. A little bit. You know, like just walking in. Oh, wait, there's another person with their head out over the toilet. Wait, are they all sitting on toilets? Is this the banter here? Wait, let's have a look at this restaurant. They're all sitting on toilets while they eat their food. So is this the crack here? Is this like, are people, like, is it just funny because they're on a toilet? <laughs> Is it funny because they're on a toilet? Guys, I've got chest pains. I've been having heart palpitations all day. I don't know what to I think I'm dying. And this isn't helping. Why is everyone on toilets? It's stressing us out. That is ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> so is that how you destroy the skibbity toilet? Do you have to take the lid off and then flush them? Just so I know when... When my city comes under attack from the skibbity toilets, is that what I need to do? I'm confused. I have no clue about this meme. This is one of the first memes where I'm just lost. Uganda Knuckles took me like a, a, a day or two to kind of get with it. It was tough, but this, I don't think I can ever get with this. Oh no, there's not. You know, Gen Alpha are gonna clown us for not understanding this. But actually, I feel like that's millennial humor. I feel like that's like Lele Poms, you know? You know, like where they just make stupid faces and like and like some people find that really funny. I feel like it's coming back round. You know how fashion trends come back round? Is it starting to happen with memes? Like we were the first like real wave of, of memes, you know? Like we, we haven't lived long enough for them to come back round in fashion. Is this the start? Let's see if we know these Gen Alpha words. So okay, okay, right. So let me know how many of these... Surely we know Gen Alpha words. Like, they can't be that bad. I know Skibbity Toilet, like that YouTube channel that's popular. They do like... Okay, what could Skibbity... 
What could skibbity mean? I feel like I'm trying to work out hieroglyphics here. I genuinely have no idea what skibbity means. Is it another language? This is me showing my age. I don't even think this is from the English language. Makes sense. We know what Sigma means. Is that, is that a gen alpha? Sigma's like guys that like, like Sigma males are guys that choose their own path, isn't it? <laughs> guys that walk the, the, the path that is less walking. Sigma isn't gen alpha, that's definitely gen Z. It's basically a better alpha, so like elite all around. Yep, yeah, okay. that makes sense. That just means word. That's been around forever. Like you're in agreement with something. I see if I couldn't say that. Yeah, bet. I, I see that, that just, I feel so cringe. I feel like I'm too old to say that. Rizzler? That's just somebody with Riz. So somebody with charisma. See, Riz. Okay, when I say Riz, I say taking the piss. But Rizzler is like a new level. Imagine calling yourself the Rizzler. Do people call themselves that? The Rizzard of Oz? I feel like if you call yourself the Rizzler, you automatically, you have no Riz. Oh, so we've got some actual Gen Alphas here letting us know words that aren't cool. This is going to make me feel great. It's not even funny how Al Slay is. I can't say, like, that's a sleigh. No! Oh, no. oh my god, I uh, What about, um, What? Bet. I've just started using that as part of my vocabulary. Now we can't use it anymore. What do you mean we can't- Why? Why can't we use that word? RuPaul says it. He's cool, isn't he? I don't know. F Jesus, I'm so out the loop. What about the laughing emoji? What? You still <laughs> use that? Do you actually use the laughing Like, yes. dead- why, why are they, like, reacting as if she's, like, killed someone? What? You, you, you've actually, we should call, na we should call the police on you. The laughing emoji, Ugh. To be fair, I don't use the laughing emoji. I use the crying one. You know, the one where, like, it's like tears. I think I use that anyway. Do I? I hope. I don't use the laughing emoji. I'm not, I'm not one of them. <laughs> Never catch me using that. When you laugh, if it's something funny, you do crying. Because no one laughs by using... <sighs> Oh, it's hard being down with the kids, I'll tell you that. A yacht? It stands for... Um, it stands for girl, your... Booty... Thick. Oh, that's disgusting. What, you've literally been on this earth for like, eight years. Why are you talking about stuff like that? I've been on this earth so much longer. I, I determine what's cool here. You're, you're just a visitor compared to me. What do you, what do you mean, gyat? I'm not gonna say gyat, that's not cool. Gyat? Why are people this age talking about having thick bums? That is disgusting. It's so preppy. Oh, I'm what preppy. is preppy? So, Can I say that? Yeah, so um, preppy is basically, in my opinion, it's like this. Yeah, this is very preppy. No, preppy Summer is like- Summer Friday's lip balm. <laughs> preppy is like Lululemon and like Lily Oh, like Pulitzer Polo. And it's like- Polo. No, that's not preppy. They're genuinely like- I'm not kidding you, they're speaking another language and I never thought I would get to this point in my life, but I'm here and I'm accepting it. I'm starting to accept it. You know, I'm not the, I'm, I'm not that age anymore where I'm the cool one. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. By the way guys, help us to hit 100,000 subscribers by pressing the subscribe button. I upload every single other day so you've got plenty of videos to binge watch when you're bored and yeah. Join the donuts and let's get back to the video. <laughs> oh my god, is there live action Skippy toys? Yeah, this is awesome. I totally recommend this. I'm sorry, right? I'm so but this is NPC. This is like the definition of NPC. If you're doing this. <laughs> this I would rather go to the Wonka experience in Glasgow than go to this. I'm sorry, right? I'll take the singular jelly bean they were offering there so that I don't have to stare at grown people inside of a toilet pretending I don't even know what they're doing. What happens if like skibbity toilet is like a kink for some people? I feel like it's going to get to that level. Who did they hire to be in the toilet? <laughs> Can you imagine your, your lad was just like one of the skibbity toilets. It's gotta be, that's gotta be tough. You're talking to someone, you really like them, right? They're taking all your boxes, right? You're like, wow, this could be the father of my children. Then you just scroll a bit too far down his profile and it's just a picture of this. Just him in a skibbity toilet. Oh. Skibbity toilet, skibbity, skibbity toilet. This person has 85,000 likes from just saying skibbity 
where am I going wrong? Where in life did I make the wrong decision? And what was the reason I didn't go down the skibbity path? But this guy looks like older than 20. Like, you need to have a word with yourself if you're trying to... Uh, if you're just repeating skibbity toilet for 10 year olds. Hello everybody, it's me, Mickey. Yeah. Sticky now you get for the wrestler. That's right. You're so skibbity. It's me. You're so phantom time. So let me, right. Right, let's break this down. S sticking out your gyat. Gyat is a thick bottom. Okay. For the Rizla. The Rizla is a man with charisma. So you're sticking out your fat bum for, for, for a guy that's got some charisma. This feels like a French exam. You know, you're trying to just break it down <laughs> sentence by sentence. You're so skibbity. Okay. You're, you're so evil. Right? You're so evil. You're so phantom time. What? What could phantom tax be? So it's sticking out your fat bum for a person with charisma. You're so evil. You're so phantom. Phantom tax? You're gonna have to Google it. Sorry, I'm just trying to understand, you know. The theft of food between friends. None of these sentences intertwine, though. Sticking out your fat bum for a guy with charisma. You're so evil. Can I have some of your food? This is literally like what I try and form a sentence in French. Hi, Asking my Gen Alpha little sister, our Gen Alpha little sister, if things are Almost still so. in, like phrases and words, if they're still in. And then Kaden and then me. Slay. That was literally like five months ago. What do you mean it, that was literally five months ago? Who said? That's who said? Right? You? I don't even know you. So I don't care what you've got to say, love. What do you mean it was five months ago? For me, it's now. Queen. No. Just, just if you're part of the uh, LGBTQ community, guys, uh, RuPaul, Drag Race fan, you know, Slay, Queen, not cool anymore. Gonna have to figure out some more words. Fam. Like, like, what up, fam? Fam? Oh, oh God, these are the worst Gen Z as ever. These ones. What up, fam? What? Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity, skibbity Fortnite. We're officially done. We're officially fucked. I love that they've got to put it on the screen as well behind them. That's like the equivalent of having subway surfers. Because it was, if it's just the people dancing, like obviously that can't hold the attention of. Gen Alphas. I wonder, like, you know, in movies, you know, and, like, is the cinema going to be a thing anymore? They have to adapt. Like, they have to play the movie with Subway Surfers, like, half and half, you know what I mean? Just to keep people's attention span going. Or just someone, like, cutting something, but, like, is it cake or is it the real thing? You know, like, one of them videos. Gen Alphas making their own memes now. It's just Beacon We on the next cringe Gen on the chopping block. No, but genuinely, I said this earlier, like, I'm actually, wor like, uh, worried about this. He's captioned it, what is Phantom Tax and 600... Thousand people like this, so they clearly agree. This is actually really worrying because there's gonna be a new block of YouTubers, guys. There's gonna be some Gen Alpha YouTubers who are gonna react to memes better than me. I know, you can't believe it. I know you can't. But one day that will happen. One day, a Gen Alpha will come out of a toilet and kick me up the bottom. And I'll be on my way. No longer will Gen Z memes be funny anymore. I'll just be dressing in a toilet trying to make a living. Everyone making fun of Gen Alpha for watching Brain Rot. Yeah, that's kind of true, actually. MLG, back in the day, that kind of hit hard. I don't feel like it was as bad as, as this, though. I'm probably biased, but, uh, what memes were we, like, you know we had Vine? Vine wasn't as bad as this. It really wasn't. There was some funny Vines. They were cringy, but there was some funny. This is just, this is just weird. I'm sorry. Gen Alpha. Of course we're gonna phantom tax your level 76 Giat. We're Gen Alpha. We were playing subway surfers in the womb. We're Gen Alpha. We have level 1000 oh, Signal no. Ohio Riz. Oh no, it's begun. Oh no. No, this is actually bad. This is, if this guy's Gen Z, this is how like people that are like millennial or Gen X take the piss out of Gen Z with their skits. We are now doing them skits for Gen Alpha. Somebody needs to destroy Mr. Mi Mr. MC TikTok. He can't bring our rep down. 
He's destroying our rep. <laughs> Guys, I can't take any more of this. If you want another video of us reacting to Gen Z memes, uh, 1,000 likes on this video and we'll do it. And watch a brand new video from me reacting to more memes right here. Cam Kirkham, baby.